Okay, good morning again to everybody. Um, happy Friday. Thank you all for attending this morning. Do really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed the webinars um, so far this week. Um, I'm going to be previewing what we've got for next week at the end of the presentation today. So again, a huge thank you for your guys' support. I hope they've been helpful so far. And I hope uh, that they continue to be helpful for you guys. So let's get on with the agenda for Friday. Um, so we can look at why your database is the most important thing your business has in lockdown to drive revenue for your business over the next six months. We can look at some ideas, uh, practical stuff that you could put in place over the next six months to increase revenue to your business. Um, driving revenue in lockdown, sharing of ideas from uh, myself and the guys at Briefing Markets, um, using social media and driving new engagement to your channels and your website too. Uh, we can look at live chats, uh, some lockdown advice and actual case studies from our proud partners, Yondel. Again, this is a, about the theme of increasing revenue uh, and protecting your revenue over the next six months. And then a quick look at your support network from Brief Your Market, your own mini marketing department over lockdown. Okay, house rules. Um, and just if you want to ask any questions, all webinar attendees are muted. You guys know that now, just to avoid the background noise and distractions. So any barking dogs, noisy kids, the other half, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, please use the questions option on the go to webinar control panel. It's on the right hand side, I would say, on your screen. Uh, if you do ask a question, don't leave the webinar, otherwise I can't respond to your question. You think I'm being rude, I'm not. I just need to hang around if you need an answer at the end. Um, you might need to just click on the orange expand button on your go to webinar control panel to open up the questions option so you can type in your question. But do please feel free to pose your questions. As I go through the presentation, I will get to them at the end. Okay, so why your database is the most important thing you have as a business on lockdown to generate your revenue is that the world's most valuable resource is no longer oil, but data. Treat it well, it'll treat you well over the next six to nine to 12 months when we recover from the current situation. Building your database has not been free of charge to do. Remember that, I'm sure your financial directors have been uh, reminding you of that as well. Um, your data is the only thing you guys have at the moment. Um, of course, you have your premises, but again, they are still under lock and key. So again, the database is so, so important for you. And we're going to look at obviously how you can drive the um, revenue from that over the next few months. So um, do you have a key contact group set up in your database for sales? It's really important that you protect and plan your revenue streams. Um, protection, um, do you have a segmentation set within your database to talk to your sales pipeline and keep it warm? So obviously this will be your revenue for autumn, winter, obviously once things have, have been completed and the lockdown's been lifted. Um, have you got a, a group of motivated buyers for post lockdown? Um, and are you talking to them about falling through properties? Um, also, as well, uh, we need to look at the protection of people who might fall out of a contract. You know, are you guys um, recontracting people uh, post lockdown? That came up in a webinar I watched earlier this week. That's an interesting one. Um, your valuation pipeline for summer and autumn 2020. Uh, again, obviously, uh, we've seen certainly a brief year market, an increase um, in online valuations coming in via our Digival tool. Please make sure that people are speaking your team or yourself, if you furlough your sales next or your valuers, please make sure you're on top of them. Uh, and again, if you're offering the virtual valuations um, to keep that warm, obviously do tell your database. We'll come on to that later in the presentation. It's really important for lanes as well. Again, protect but plan your revenue streams. You can't win revenue unless you plan to do that. Hopefully, I'm going to, um, you'll pick up some tips today. Um, protection of incoming rent from tenants. We've seen the stories about um, the Guardian uh, running things um, from Optimum on this. Um, 
the, the, the students' unions as well. I mean, if you're a student landlord, I, I do feel for you a lot at the moment. Um, protection of property management fees from landlords. Check your contracts that you've got with your landlords. If your tenant doesn't pay rent, can you bill them for their property management fees? Um, expiration of tenancies over the next six to nine months. Uh, are you speaking to your landlords and tenants about this? Um, again, I mean, uh, you guys know if you've been on the webinars before, I'm a landlord. Has my letting agent been um, proactively talking to me about the expiration of tenancy to generate income from me as a landlord um, for a relet? The answer is no. Um, sorry if you're on the call, by the way, give me a call later. Um, on the webinar, even. Um, new properties to market. Um, have you got a lettings valuation pipeline that you're working on as well at the moment? Um, and are you targeting lost landlords um, that have basically come out of the, the short term Airbnb let market? Um, there's certainly been a, a bit of that going on. And again, um, targeting the landlords that are student properties who are really, let's be honest, in the brown stuff at the moment with, uh, with what's gone on uh, with students returning home, mother and father. So please, there's a lot of um, a lot of people giving opinions, and I'm just going to let you read this on the screen at the moment, and I'm going to put a bit of a comment on. Okay, I mean, this is particularly pertinent for, for lettings, again, because we know that that can move a lot faster. It's good, fast revenue for you guys in the next six months. It's really important you remobilize your lettings department. And if it's a word, unfurloughing, unfurloughing even, the staff is going to be really important for your lettings departments over the, uh, the next few weeks. Um, really interesting this from right moving again, you know, they are they are the biggest website out there, you know, their, their data is extremely valuable. That again, a lot of people are looking in the um, in the coastal towns there. So uh, people are missing the seaside, which is interesting. OK, so we've got the first poll of the day. So get your voting uh, fingers ready for this one. OK, OK. Right. This is great. OK, right. Have you been seeking out new revenue streams in lockdown? Simple yes or no. Nice, easy one for a Friday. Okay, thank you for voting. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it open another 10 seconds. Okay, interesting result there, actually. Um, thank you all for voting on that again. 60% have been and 40% haven't. So I guess for the 40 percent and certainly 60 percent as well, um, hopefully, you know, I, you know, what I'm sharing today going forward will uh, we'll open up some new avenues for you. Um, thank you again for voting. Appreciate that. OK, so revenue for the next few months will be sparse. So think about the ancillary services you offer as a business. Remortgaging has gone through the roof. This is a news flash which uh, my, my friend and my own mortgage advisor put on Facebook uh, about a news flash that remortgage searches were up 60% compared to the monthly average. That was two weeks ago when she reported that. Again, if you're getting a kickback, we have an in-house IFA. Are you offering a remortgage service 
to your database. Think about it, kick back on there. Again, good to um, speak to your database about that. Massive one at the moment, wow. Income protection insurance. Um, again, for your tenant database, or you know, again, you, you wider database as well. And um, I know from um, we get a couple of friends who work in the insurance industry. This is it's bloody good money for them. And again, if you've got um, this type of uh, route set up, and you're getting a kickback on this, please, please look at this. It's really worth doing. Good money there. Um, but for uh, for our lords, rent guarantee insurance. I love this uh, this one here, the old uh, the umbrella. I mean, this is so so uh, relevant at the moment. Uh, guarantee your rental income. Um, again, um, please look at all the providers out there for this. Again, I mean, an an an, em an empathy piece at the very present moment with landlords being petrified about their uh, their tenants not paying rents, and certainly if you're in London, you've got. Um, a lot of the the noise that is down there at the moment this will be a brilliant perfect timed campaign to go out there but again obviously uh for your company get a bit of revenue off the back of that um if you guys are on the the webinar with chris watkin and i yesterday please don't ask for the order it can come across as crass and out of taste offer free advice use blogs use videos google is a wonderful place for free advice let me I'm sure you guys know that. Um, I mean, an example of not asking for the order of B, oh, by the way, uh, these are linked to uh, Barclays, HSBC, um, Coventry Building Society, for example, for, for payment holidays. I'll hear some positive stories on a return to the market. Oh, by the way, if you are looking at refinancing, please speak to David, that type of thing. Again, asking for the order, um, it, it's quite tough at the moment. Uh, again, I think, please, I mean, it's always going to be really important anyway for marketing, but um, offer content first and then obviously just say, oh, by the way, if I can help, I'm here. Just saying click here for a remortgage uh, quotation. ain't going to work, so I can watch at the moment. So you guys are the experts, of course. Remember, but show empathy, but control in the current situation. I'm going to show a video in a short while, uh, which I think really hits, uh, it really hits the point well. Um, he's, he's a friend of mine. Um, I've dealt with him. Um, for many years, a really good, well-toned video. Please don't hide away. Uh, a lot of agents have genuinely gone to ground and they're scared about communicating at the moment. Um, it, it's, it's a very high risk strategy if you're doing that. Um, please talk to your customers. Uh, as I said, agents genuinely have, have, have gone to ground. Uh, if you don't talk to your potential customers, others are, believe me. So I'm gonna show you uh, a video from a guy called Jeremy McGinn. He's got offices in um, in South, sorry, North Warwickshire actually. So yeah, I picked this up just, just personally on um, my own social media yesterday. I've asked Jeremy if I could uh, show this to you guys today. He's agreed to that, which is great. So Jeremy, if you're on, thank you for that. I do owe you a point, that is correct. We'll, we'll come to that when the lockdown's finished. But yeah, so uh, sit back, enjoy this. It's uh, It's really good. Thank you, Jeremy.
Okay, a uh, huge thank you again uh, to to Jeremy for uh, allowing us to show that to you guys. Again, I think it's uh, it's certainly uh, really interesting uh, if you if you look at agents who maybe aren't communicating with a database or communicating via social media, uh, the difference that a video like that would make to an agent who who hasn't maybe spoken to, the, to their database during lockdown. So yeah, thanks to the big man there and uh, your pints will be waiting at the bar. Okay, right, so uh, lettings. Okay, so what can you do over the next six months to generate revenue? Okay, we've already mentioned rent guarantee insurance for landlords, um, refinancing again, you know, it might be a time that landlords have got a bit of time at home and they'll be looking at their portfolios and maybe uh, taking advantage of the uh, the extremely low uh, interest rates. Of course, you guys uh, generate revenue for relets. So what's your diary looking like and are you communicating with uh, with landlords where their ASTs are uh, due to expire? And are we looking at maybe extending them and keeping the tenants locked in? That will certainly be a good call I would uh, like to receive from my agents. So new legislation, again, for you guys that have been on the webinar before, you guys know about this, but of course we know it's going to be law. Um, electrical safe certificates for all new tenancies in the UK, sorry, England, um, from the 1st of July. Keep your electricians busy. I'm sure um, they are at the moment. Uh, and if they're not, then uh, you might want to give them a call about that. Uh, they're going to become rather busy and probably well off over the next few months. And um, also as well, for landlords as well, Opportunity knocks really, prices do end up reducing. Sell some of your stock, you know, I mean, um, you know, if you're a landlord with money, um, it's certainly an opportunity potentially. And uh, landlords do look, um, and you guys will know it's more than I do, um, look at investing during a depression. And again, if prices do drop, depending on obviously how long this goes on for, again, that might be a nice uh, way of uh, getting rid of some of your stock. Um, Again, um, products for landlords, builders insurance, again, are, are their premiums due? Do you have a setup with uh, anybody who's offering insurance? Of course, contents and building, obviously, if it's uh, for, um, fully furnished. I had an email myself, actually, on, on this, about boiler and appliance cover from a uh, third party, or actually, if I took out that uh, policy, I'd get a free gas safety certificate. That was quite an interesting one. And again, of course, as well, and looking um, and communicating with your landlords about the expiration of gas safe certificates. Also as well, caveat to this, speak to your local authority because if your tenants are in isolation or um, clustered shielding, what are the uh, the liabilities for the landlord? And have you taken all reasonable steps to do that? You want to avoid uh, the landlord getting fines or indeed yourself. So looking at lettings as well, so for tenants, uh, again, the income protection insurance, massive one. Again, get 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 a route of, of income set up for that if you can. Um, also, as well, and be, obviously be a bit careful with this. Um, exit the rental sector. You know, as Jeremy just said there, it's still cheaper to buy than rent because of the interest rates. So again, if you've got any new home development that are help to buy, or any mortgage products that you might want to start promoting to maybe your longer serving tenants, i.e two or three years into the tenancy. And again, talk to brief your market about segmenting your data for that. It might be worth looking at that again over the coming months. So again, the time in that is critical, of course. You've got to be very sensitive around that. But again, if you can, you know, content market to those type of tenants, that might be an opening for you there. And again, it's a normal content content insurance even for, uh, for tenants too. Again, all ideas that you can use to generate revenue over the next six months. Uh, also, as well for tenants, uh, utilities, so TV and broadband. I know Virgin Media give very decent kickbacks on that. Um, speak to the Virgin uh, Media team on that one. Uh, for gas and electricity, I'm sure you guys know that Zoopla own U switch or the other way around, well, Silver Lake do anyway. So uh, speak to your Zoopla account manager about that and uh, what types you and kickbacks you might be able to get for that. Speak to your tenants, also speak to uh, your database on that as well, really. Um, so yeah, but, but please, you know, engage your tenants and don't forget about them. I know Peter and I talked a lot about this, but you know, tenants are your buyers of the next 12 to 24 months. 
don't forget them really. Uh, they're, they're, they're generally more valuable than you think. Okay, so again, if you're on the Chris Watkin webinar yesterday, don't ask for the order. Uh, no one likes to be sold to, especially at this very present moment. It's definitely worth looking at your marketing or getting somebody else, uh, your other half, who maybe doesn't work in the industry. What's in it for me? Um, it's not about you as the agents. Um, look at your marketing um, from, from a bird's eye view and what's in it for you as the potential consumer. The content marketing piece is so, so important. Um, but asking for the order can come across as crass. Okay, um, just a quick note on new homes. I know that Taylor Wimpy, uh, chairman, was on Sky News, or certainly on the Sky News app. Um, I was looking at this last night. Um, these guys certainly will be first through the door um, with, with going back to work. Uh, again, if you, you know, do speak to your, your, your partners in, in, in new homes and uh, yeah, be close to them. So again, this could be um, quick revenue for you guys over the next six months. Okay, so um, directs your marketing to social media to increase your followers. So again, if you're with Brief Your Market, currently make sure that you guys are, um, you know, you've got your social media links all over your newsletters, your emails, get them to click to your social media. Um, this is what I picked up again from Jeremy. I wasn't hawking your Facebook really yesterday, mate. Sorry about that. But again, you know, a, a good local story here, a salute to Stratford upon Avon, uh, a live event, uh, which is actually, uh, actually, no, actually, this is probably the reason why Jeremy's not on the, uh, the webinar. So again, share local community events. Really good idea, that one. Again, use your social media links on all of uh, your briefing market emails if you are with us. So, uh, yeah, as you can see there, we've got Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Vimeo, and the other one, which I can't remember. Okay, interesting story here on website traffic. I'll just let you digest that on the screen there for a minute. I think that's a really, really interesting piece about I, I have I personally think it's agency will change over the next six months. And it might well be that uh, you'll find that people will not want to visit a property in person, but actually maybe have the video walkthrough beforehand. Um, if again, you know, social distancing rules aren't aren't lifted until early next year, which has been rumoured, as, as I'm sure you guys know. Um, really interesting there, this guy's web traffic was up 50% since the lockdown. 80% of that figure being made up of new visitors. Really interesting. Again, there, just um, saying that he was launching properly under the radar on his own website, but not on the portals. Very interesting there. Okay, so on video, we talked about it yesterday. I've been talking about it a lot. Who knows that you offer this? Please tell your database. Obviously, this is the story here uh, with Winkworth. And obviously they're doing virtual uh, valuations and virtual tours, uh, a walkthrough. They're using the free video platform like Zoom, FaceTime, WhatsApp. Um, so again, if you are doing them, please tell somebody, tell your database. And um, this was the uh, the campaign which um, which WeWork used. If you are a briefing market customer, this is a drag and drop. Um, campaign your campaign libraries. So again, if you want to send this out for the weekend, please speak to us today and we'll uh, do our very best to get that sent out for you. Okay, so on to the next poll question. So, are you offering a video service to your customers? Simple yes or no, or are you thinking about it? Okay, thank you all for voting your numbers again. It is appreciated. Thank you, Neil. We'll give it a 10 seconds just so we can get everybody voting. That's on the webinar this morning.
Okay, okay. Thank you all again for that. Appreciate that. So 62% yes, you're offering video. Hope you're telling everyone about it. Uh, 9% say no, and 29% I am thinking about it. Okay, interesting stuff. Thank you guys for voting. On to question number three. Hot on the heels of the video. Do you offer this, i.e. video, for sales, lettings, sales and lettings, or financial services? An interesting one. Again, thank you all for voting. I could have another 10 seconds there just so everyone can get involved on a Friday. Thank you. Okay, really, really interesting stuff. Only 2% financial services. And again, in the spirit of revenue for the next six months, if, you know, people, uh, can't move house or of course they're too scared to again uh, that could be an income stream so only two percent of the room and 64 percent was sales and lettings 15 percent just lettings and 20 percent just sales so again really interesting stuff there thank you guys for voting okay so uh, you guys will know now that we are very proud partners with uh, the guys at yonder so we're going to look at how you can generate revenue from live chat but again for the guys who don't use live chat as well by the way at the moment and again there are other uh people that are out there of course who do offer live chat again that the guys at yondel are aware of this again this advice goes if you have other providers as well uh why would you use live chat you're short staffed you've got furloughed staff there might be illness and your home working availability might well be low uh live chat is 24 7 it's flexible it's always available as a first line of response, it will increase your customer service levels dramatically. So your website is the first place customers will go if they're not on the portals and it will now be your main street route of contact. They can't go and knock your door and come into your office. Um, it's a very fast response, by the way, it's immediately available on your website. There's no holding on the telephone, listening to very poor classical music uh, and there's no a horrible eternal wait of waiting to hear back from an email. I'm sure if anybody has emailed right now in the last two or three weeks, you'll know what that pain feels like. Um, the great thing about live chat, you may or may not be aware, it's a resource filter, so it handles a free inquiry for you, and it can prioritize a response from different people within the business. So it takes an initial burden off you and basically works as a triage for your business. It's like having you know, a reception to the front door. You don't necessarily need a tenant who wants their light bulb changed uh, talking to uh, the lettings director, for example. Um, I mean, the brand experience wise, it will, uh, your customers will genuinely appreciate the help. And again, over this time, uh, live chat is going through the roof. You're going to have to look at some of the stats that the Yondel guys have, have uh, provided here, by the way. So I guess what is it? How to maximize the live chat is do brief your partner if you're working as a partnership. And of course, your, your, your teams to stay in constant contact. Is there revised availability? Are you working flexible hours? Is Doris working in the morning and Horace in the afternoon? Um, is a service changes and compromises? Again, let people know. Uh, if there's new service innovations, we've talked about video. Again, prioritize information for your high value customers, but do please use your direct to chat links everywhere. Your briefly market emails, your non briefly market emails, put it as part of your signature if you send out emails. You send that SMS, put it on there too. And of course, we've already mentioned social media. Okay, so live chat, isn't that just a fluffy way of talking to people? Absolutely not. These are two live examples from partners of Briefly Market and Yondel, where this is the financial services and relet lead, which has got commercial direct revenue into your business. I'll just have a quick look, let you guys have a quick look at what's on the screen there.
I'm sure you guys can see that this is real. There is a couple of uh, typos in there as well. So uh, again, revenue streams coming from live chat. Again, this came from our online advert. The guys at Andrews did. Again, I mean, immediate revenue. I don't know how much you guys charge for a new landlord and getting everything set up. Um, brilliant now. Absolutely fantastic. And real examples in lockdown as well, by the way. This has been taken in the last two weeks. Um, are you available? Interesting one. If someone wants to sell a property, just have a quick read of this one on the screen if you can. Again, it's really common. I can't get hold of anyone at the moment. So again, if you've got revised availability, live chat is a brilliant way. And again, this is someone sort of to make an offer on a property. You know, again, in the spirit of um, an increasing or uh, maintaining revenue over the next six months, again, somebody who wants to make an offer on a property is extremely valuable to you as a business. So um, again, for you guys who subscribe to Property Industry I, uh, they ran this earlier in the week. Um, we've got a live uh, Q&A with the CEO of Yomdale, Andy Solomon next Wednesday and an update on the, uh, the sentiment tracker. But as you can see here, this is uh, looking at the last few months, being particular in, in the pink area here, the uh, the COVID-19 restriction period. Just have a look at the, obviously the, the downturn, of course, when everybody, let's be honest, the first two weeks was pretty scary for everybody in the UK. Nobody knew what was going to be coming next. But have a look at the tick up in the, uh, the seller, buyer, landlord and tenants live chats that they've seen coming in. It's a really genuinely encouraging sign for us in the property industry. It really, really is. Uh, but unfortunately, sentiment is pushed by the, the mainstream media. Uh, so if anybody knows any Daily Mail uh, reporters, um, tell them to stop writing headlines like this, basically, again. This was uh, the first week of, uh, of COVID-19 again, by the way. Um, but again, the sentiment is really, really important. You guys can help that by putting out you know, the, the, the empathy, the good news, the control stories. Obviously, the, the video Jeremy done now I thought was very good and on point. So, Brief Your Market are here to help and support estate agents. So please talk to us too. We're here to help. We have nice drag and drop campaigns like uh, talking to your active sellers, lining your property up for a safe sale in uh, the summer and maybe autumn months of 2020. So please speak to the team. We're adapting on that. Uh, speak to us. We are your own mini marketing department. I know agents that have furloughed marketing staff. So if you're struggling, you're thinking, I don't even have a blooming login for my briefing market system. That happened this week. Give me a call. Speak to the team. This is the Rogues Gallery. We are we are all here to uh, to help you guys out for you to stay in contact with your database, protect your revenue, and plan as well for you to get new revenues in over the next few months too. Uh, again, for you guys that have been on the webinars before, you'll know this. So, are you the Roadrunner or Tommy the Tortoise? Again, I like seeing that you guys are on the webinar today. You're definitely going to be the Roadrunners. Um, Certainly know the few tortoises who are, uh, they're not really doing much at the moment to get, um, so the road runners, please get in contact. We're here to help you. This is an interesting one I picked up yesterday I, again, on the theme of, are you available? Please check your out of office messages. This is a, an out of office I received yesterday. Just let you read that on the screen there now. that wouldn't fill me with the best confidence. I have to be honest there. Obviously, I've omitted the uh, the agent's name there. Uh, on that as well, a nice little job for you at the weekend as well. Check your Google reviews. This is one I picked up probably I think about three or four years ago. It's a nice light one to finish with today. The, uh, the review there. Please remember that Google reviews do stick there forever. So, uh, yeah, a nice light one 
to finish there. Okay, last poll before uh, we get going. So, uh, do you need any help or advice? Just vote there. If, if, if we're all here to help, we're all in the same boat. Again, if, if you feel that we can help you, let me know. Let the team know. Um, I'll obviously get them to uh, to get in contact with you guys over the coming days. Uh, I thank you all again for your generous, uh, you know, you're coming in great numbers. Thank you all. I genuinely appreciate it. I hope that the webinars help. I really genuinely do. Um, I've got the list of webinars which are coming up next week on the next slide. So obviously you can make note of these. I'll send out the slides um, to you in the next couple of hours so you've got them to hand. Um, and obviously a schedule of the webinars for next week as well. Um, so yeah, thank you all again for engaging and voting with the polls. It is genuinely appreciated. So this is what we got coming up next week. The old football analogy for the football fans in the room, they're all at 3 p.m. unless stated. Uh, on Monday, we've got uh, planning for post-lockdown, planning for estate agents using data, and that's presented in conjunction with uh, Rory and the guys at Dataloft. Uh, Tuesday, we've got future planning for your lettings departments. On Wednesday, uh, aforementioned live Q&A with the CEO of Yondel, Andy Solomon. He's a great guy. Please tune in for that one. Um, why sentiment is key and it, why it, it's really key to your business post-lockdown. Thursday, we've got processing and protecting your sales pipeline. That's presented uh, in, in conjunction with Avrilo, uh, a genuinely fantastic guy called Tony. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, protecting and how you can process effectively your sales pipeline. On Friday, it's TBC. We might be getting a special guest. We haven't got a yes or a no yet, so I will, uh, I'll let you know on that one. And, of course, um, you, you'll be emailed with regard to that so again huge thank you to you guys have a lovely lovely weekend i hope the sun shines in your area of the country uh, i'll keep the webinar open to answer the questions which have came in over the last 45 minutes um huge thank you again i have a lovely weekend and i'll hopefully speak to you again and uh on monday afternoon take care yourselves all thank you